Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the measurement of children's weight and height. In this tutorial, we will learn how to measure a child's weight using the Salter scale, the digital scale. We will also learn to measure his length or height. Anthropometry is the most frequently used method to assess nutritional status. Anthropometric measurements include height, weight, circumferences, etc. Let us learn how to measure weight using a Salter scale. Salter scale is a spring hanging scale. It can weigh up to 25 kgs. To measure weight, you will need weighing pants or bucket. In this tutorial, we will be using weighing pants. Before weighing the baby, attach the pants to the scale. Adjust the scale to zero. Then remove the pants from the scale. Undress the baby. It is best to weigh the baby without any clothes. Now, Put your hands through the open areas of pants legs. Gently grasp the baby's feet and put the baby in the pants. Now attach the pants to the scale in a way that the baby hangs freely. Make sure the baby doesn't touch anything. Do not touch the scale or the baby. Stand in front of the scale so that the pointer is at your eye level. Wait till the child stops moving. Otherwise, the needle will move when reading the weight. When the child is steady, read the weight on the scale. Read it up to the nearest 100 grams mark. Write down the weight immediately so you don't forget it. The scale must be checked every day by using a known weight. Do not forget to readjust the scale to zero before every weighing. Next, let us learn how to measure weight using a baby digital scale. Clean the tray. Put the weighing scale on a flat, stable surface like a table or a platform. Connect the power plug. If the scale runs on batteries, put the batteries in it. Switch it on. The digital display will show some number. Adjust the digital display to zero by Manually adjusting the knob. Some weighing scales have automatic zero display. Place a clean and dry towel or paper on the tray. This will reduce the chances of a drop in the baby's body temperature. It will also prevent the transfer of infections. Undress the baby. Place the baby on the towel in the middle of the tray. Note the reading on the digital display. Write it down. Switch the machine off after use. Remember to use a separate clean and dry towel for each baby. Check the accuracy of the weighing scale with standard known weights every week. Do not press the weighing tray with your hand. It could damage the weighing machine. Next, let us learn how to measure weight using a family digital scale. Digital or electronic scales provide quick, easy and precise measurements. Family digital scales can be used in two different ways to weigh children. 
children who can stand up can be weighed by making them stand on the scale. Other children can be weighed in the arms of an adult. This is also called double weighing. To weigh the child, place the scale on a hard and flat surface. A wooden board can be used if you are weighing the child on the field. Explain the procedure to the child's mother or carer. Take off the child's clothes if possible. Turn on the scale. Tell the child to stand on the scale. If the child can't stand, ask the mother or an assistant to stand on the scale. After the adult's weight appears, press the reset button. Zero must appear before the child is given to the adult to be weighed. The weight displayed will be the child's weight. Write down the weight immediately so you don't forget it. Handle the scale with care. Protect the scale from excess humidity or excess heat. Next, let us learn how to measure a child's length or height. Length is used for children shorter than 87 centimeters or under 2 years of age. Height is used for children taller than or equal to 87 centimeters or over 2 years of age. For length or height measurement, you will need a height board. You will need two people to take the measurement. You will need support from the carer when taking the measurement. You must take off the child's shoes and socks. Remove anything that covers the child's head as well. For length measurement, put the height board flat on the ground. Lay the child on the board. The child's head should be touching the fixed board end. The child's feet should be towards the movable foot piece. One person should sit on her knees straight behind the fixed board. She should place her hands over the child's ears. She should hold the head of the child firmly with her hands. In this position, the child should be looking straight up. The top of the child's head should touch the fixed board. Now, the second person should position himself properly. He should sit on his knees near the foot piece. He should straighten the child's legs. With one hand, he should hold the child's knees firmly on the board. With the other hand, he should move the foot piece. He must move it until it is pressing against the heels of the child. He should not tilt the foot piece. The child should lay completely flat on the height board. The person holding the foot piece should read the length of the child. His eyes must be straight above the measuring tape while reading. Length can be read up to 1 mm of accuracy. He must write down the length immediately. Now, let us learn how to measure a child's height. For height measurement, put the height board straight up. Make sure the fixed board end is flat on the ground. The movable headpiece should be at the top end. Put the back of the board against a flat wall. 
Remove the child's footwear. Tell the child to stand on the center of the fixed board. The child's heels must be pressed against the height board. The child's knees must be straight. The child's shoulders and head should be pressed against the board. The child's hands must be at the sides. The child should look straight ahead. The first person should sit on her knees on the side of the board. Her left hand should be on the child's knees. She must keep the child's knees together and straight. Her right hand should be on the front part of the child's lower legs. The second person should sit on his knees in front of the board. He should move the headpiece until it presses against the child's head. He must hold the headpiece straight with one hand. With the other hand, he should cup and hold the child's chin. Now, he should read the height. While reading, his eyes should be straight in front of the measuring tape. He can measure the height up to 1 mm of accuracy. He should write down the height immediately. Detailed interpretation of these measurements is discussed in other tutorials. Please visit our website for more information. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.